Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, let's look at how we can create a dashboard from MySQL database data. Let's get started. Starting out, let's see what we're building in this tutorial. We have a dashboard here that is pulling numbers from a MySQL database, doing calculations on those numbers, and then providing us a URL endpoint that anyone can go to to access this information. We could also password protect this information if we only wanted certain people to be able to access it. Let's see how we can do this using Wayscript. We'll go over to the recently redesigned homepage and click on create a new script. If you don't have a Wayscript account already, it's absolutely free to sign up. Let's call this one MySQL Data Dashboard and click on create. Let's quickly build the skeleton of our workflow. To do this, we'll go to packages and we need an HTTP trigger so we'll import that and we'll drag it over and drop it in this will provide us an endpoint that we can host our dashboard on next we need a mysql module so we'll drag it in and drop it next in our workflow this will be how we connect our database to wayscript and get the data from our mysql database next let's use python to do analysis on that data so we can get the statistics such as the standard deviation, the mins and maxes. And to host these on a dashboard, we need a dashboard response. So we'll go and import the dashboard response and drag it in as the last step in our workflow. Now let's build this out. To connect our database, we need to select the database that we want to use. I'll be using this one. And if you need help connecting your own database, I have a video dedicated to that. I'll be sure to link that in the description of this video. But for now, we'll click on the database I want to use and we'll run a query to get all the data that we need. I'm selecting all the data from my table of survey and we'll click on run code. Let's say that the information I want are these scores here. So we'll import that column. We'll import it as scores list. Once we click off, we see that the variable at the bottom is updated with that name and has all the information from that column in our MySQL table called survey. Now that we have that information, let's use some Python code to process it. We'll click on Python and click on edit code. I've already typed up some Python code that we can use, and this will be hosted on our code snippets GitHub repository called MySQL dashboard vars. I'll be sure to link this in the description below as well. We'll take this, copy it, and paste it here. What's happening here is we're importing the modules that we need. We're accessing the variable of scores underscore list. So we need to make sure that this name matches this one. That way we can use this information in our Python script and do some calculations on it. Once we do these calculations, we'll output these variables called max, min, and standard deviation, which are just those values in our Python script. We'll run our code, and now we see that those variables are available to us at the bottom. We'll click on Done Editing and go back to our workflow. Next, we can pass those variables to our dashboard response. We'll click on it, and let's change the names of each section. So we had a min. We'll input the value of min from our variables, and now that should display on our dashboard. We can have multiple responses, so we'll add those now. We'll drag those from the bottom into each of those blanks. Just like that, we've connected our data and done some processing on it to display it on a dashboard. Let's go back up to our HTTP trigger, turn it on by flipping on the switch, and then we'll go to this URL to see our result. And just like that, we see that we've connected our MySQL database data to a dashboard in just a few minutes. Next, let's see how we can build this chart on this one. I don't have any data for this, so we'll just use some dummy data. And we'll do that by creating a variable and dragging it in to our workflow above our dashboard response. Let's create something like x-axis will be equal to a list of strings. We'll do January, February, March. And for our y-axis, let's say something like four random numbers. Once we have that, let's click off of it and we'll go back to packages and import our charts package. We'll drag it in to our workflow under the create variable and let's make a line chart. We'll pull in our x-axis and our y-axis 
And now we should have a preview of this chart below. We can pass this chart just like any other variable to our dashboard response. We'll click on it, scroll down in our variables panel, and pull in that chart. Now when we go back to this dashboard and refresh, we should see that chart down here in the bottom right. And that's all for this one. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to create a dashboard using WayScript. Of course, you can have more complex calculations and pass those over, but in this one, I just wanted to focus mainly on setting it up. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know. Until next time.